Hey reefers, why don't you hang out for a while and check out the fish at the Tropicorium. Hey, what's up reefers? I'm Reefer Matt. I'm not an influencer or a content creator. I'm just a real reefer like you. I make these videos to share my reefing journey, so feel free to share yours with me, Reefer Matt. Hey, what's up reefers? This is Reefer Matt. I had to go to Tropicorium the other day and I figured I'd let you tag along. And this is the parking lot for the Tropicorium. It is located in Romulus, Michigan. And I'll put the address and everything in the description. And as you walk in, you'll see these big old vats right here. A lot of these have coral, some have fish, some have sharks. Uh, there's just a whole bunch of stuff in there. I had to stop by and take a look at these chalices. Look how big they are, they're freaking huge. Ah, here's a little queen angel right here. They have a lot of fish just in these vats, let alone all the other display tanks that they have. And here's another beautiful queen angel fish here. Uh, this one is very stunning to see in person. These are real majestic fish and I just like looking at them. And I think this is some kind of bristle tooth tang, but the colors on it were very striking. It's like a pink and a yellow and it would just look fantastic in a reef tank. I just wish I had a tank that was big enough for it. There's one thing at the trout they don't have a shortage of, and that's clownfish. They have just about every morph you can think of. Check these guys out. Now I have absolutely no clue what these fish are called, but they look really cool and I just had to show them to you. So like I said, if you know what they are, go ahead and put in the comments, hey, that was this fish at this time in the video. That'll help me out too. And here's another healthy big angelfish. Check this one out. I don't know where he gets all of his fish, but you'll find there's a huge variety. And like I said, there's a lot of clownfish here too. They have a lot of different morphs, so you'll definitely find something that you like. And when I stopped in, Ray, the owner, showed me the Stars and Stripes puffers. I don't know if you guys watch the channel, but you should know that I love puffers and I just wish I had a tank big enough because I would take them both home. They were just awesome. And here's some fish for the freshwater folks too. I believe these are koi fish. And it's pretty neat how this one aquarium was cascading into the other one like a little waterfall. And here's another juvenile angelfish. I'm really not too hip on the different markings on them. This one might be a Korean angelfish, but I'm not sure. But there's a little skunk clown back there, and those guys would be a good addition to any reef tank. Now here's a fish that I would love to have if I had a huge uh, fowler tank and I just put angels in it. I really love French angelfish. I just, I wish I had, you know, like a 300 or 500 gallon to put it in. That would be so awesome. Every time I see one, I'm like, man, I gotta get one someday. And yes, there's a little porky puffer too. I just love puffer fish, don't you? Oh, he was tempting me so much to take him home, but my tank's full. And it's hard to explain exactly how many tanks are in this place. I really don't know, but there is a lot. So I'm just kind of showing you all the different tanks. But uh, that clownfish is pretty neat. It had long fins on it. I'll show you one of those here in a little bit. But uh, here's all the tanks as I'm walking down the one aisle. And they're just this is just one room. There's just tank after tank after tank. All full of fish. And in case you guys didn't know, the Tropicorium is one of the oldest, if not the oldest, saltwater aquarium store. And then I happen to look and I seen these bang guys here and I lost my bang guy a while ago and I'm like, oh, I need to get one. And then I was like, oh, they're not for sale just yet. 
So hopefully uh, when he breeds some out, I'll be looking to get some of these. But cardinal fish are always a nice addition to any reef tank. And if my buddy Saltwater Steve's watching, look, Steve, it's crusty. They definitely got a clown trigger too. Ooh, man, these guys are feisty, but uh, they sure look awesome, don't they? And there's a burfish. This is where I got my burfish butthead too. And there's a cool little sailfin tang there also. Now this fish reminds me of my first ever reef tank that I had back in 2005. Uh, this is a Niger trigger and I have one of these in my tank and they're just a really beautiful fish. And yes, a volatile line fish. So just make sure you give these guys a big tank because they do get big. And I'm not sure what kind of fish that is. I think that's a wrasse, but I just don't know what kind. Uh, and then there's a little clown fish in the back there, but I thought that fish was pretty cool looking. It had a lot of different colors in it. And I found Dory. There's Dory, I found her. Just remember these fish get big too, so make sure they got a nice big tank to go in. And tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that's some kind of squirrel fish, isn't it? And I believe this is a panther grouper. Man, those guys are cool looking too. I wish I had a tank big enough for it. Like I said, there's no shortage of clownfish at this store. Just about every morph you can think of and just about every species too. Now, I don't know what kind of fish this is, but it caught my eye. Look at that little guy. This is really colorful little fish. That'd be cool for a little uh, nano tank, I think. And I believe that's another wrasse there. I just don't know the name of it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you know. And like at the beginning of the video, there's that hawkfish just chilling. I wish I had one of these just sitting around and just looking at me, just sitting there watching me more than I was watching him. <laughs> and here's a cool pink tail trigger. Those are the more docile triggers, so those are probably good for a reef tank too. I'm not sure what this fish is in the front, but I believe the one in the back is a Scopus tank. That's a really bright and colorful fish. I wonder if that's part of the butterfly fish family. And here's a maroon clown. These guys do get feisty, but they do pretty good in their own tank with an anemone. And here's some other cool clownfish. They almost look like Clarky clowns, but I'm not sure. Oh, and don't tell my wife, but while I was waiting around, I was kind of eyeing this tank. I'm like, hmm, could this be tank number six? Maybe. Oh my God. Game over. And here's a cool bicolor angelfish. I had one of these in my first tank too. I just call them the U of M fish for University of Michigan. And here's that cool long fin clownfish I was talking about. I've never seen a long fin clownfish before. This guy looks really cool. And there's another fish that I have no clue what it is. Let me know. It looks like some kind of butterfly fish. And that is some kind of wrasse. Uh, is that like a canary wrasse or something? Let me know. But uh, that's a cool wrasse too. And uh-oh, Finn, there's your long lost cousin. That's a little baby emperor angel. Well, that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys had fun checking out the fish at the Tropicorium. I'm Reefer Matt. Thank you for watching and happy reefing.